Hi, regarding cabinets without handles, a lot of our competitors and CAD CAM systems just cannot manage this uh, easily. I'm going to show you that our application based on Iron Cat is much better. I am first going to create two new parameters at the cabinet level using Cabinet Manager Create Parameters. First parameter is DIA0 that handles the diameter of my uh, routing and Delta0 that will handle the distance from the top of my cabinet where I want to position this. Next I'm going to drag and drop an iron cut function, a shapes, it's a H cylinder and I just drop it here in this corner and this will create a routing on my cabinet. Of course I would like to master my routing later. I mean by that that I would like to be able to move the routing automatically whatever the dimension of my cabinet. Therefore I need to select the H cylinder in my cabinet 3 and I need again to create five parameters. The first two ones are copies of my uh, original parameters DIA1 and DIA uh, and Delta1 uh, uh, because there is a hierarchy uh, between the two. Uh, the next three parameters will allow me to uh, position the routing on the height of the cabinet, regarding the depth of the cabinet and regarding uh, the width of the cabinet. Okay, now I need to uh, call the parameters table of my project and to target uh, the parameters I just created. So delta1 must be equal to delta0 and dia1 must be equal to dia0. W1 is equal actually to the height of my cabinet minus delta1 and L1 is equal to the depth of my uh, cabinet. Well, I, I acknowledge that you need some exercise to achieve this, uh, of course. I'm going to pass this information to my 8-cylinder at the IntelliShape property level. I uh, select the size box bookmark, check show formulas, enter DIA1 value to handle the diameter. Next I'm going to select the uh, uh, anchor bookmark in my IntelliShape property and check show formulas and enter formula in L sample is equal to L1 uh, multiplied by minus 1 minus 1 uh, handles the direction of the movement plus dr1 divided by 2 and for the width uh, w, w is equal to W1 multiplied by minus 1 plus dr1 uh, divided by 2 and I can realize now that indeed the H cylinder has moved where I wanted it to, to move. Let's imagine now that we want to edit the diameter of the uh, H cylinder. It's quite easy. I just call the cabinet manager, target the dia0 uh, parameter and I edit uh, a new value and you can realize that the diameter has been updated. And regarding delta zero, it's just the same. I enter a new value, and you can realize that indeed the H cylinder was moved. If I edit the cabinet's dimension, you can realize that, for example, the distance uh, remains the same from the top. If I pull the handle of the cabinet, you can realize as well that its position remains the same. So I made actually a parametric uh, cabinet. I made a parametric uh, handle. Just repeat this uh, to the other lateral and now normally if you edit the cabinet's dimension you must realize that the two uh, H cylinders remain at the same place and keep being mirrored. Let's say that the cabinet now is over. It's in my template, it's in my model. I'm going to uh, drop it into my catalog. Now imagine that we want to create a new project based on this uh, parametric model. I just drag and drop a second cabinet on the scene uh, from my catalog. I drop a third one. I can very easily modify or edit the dimension of the central cabinet. I can pull the handle and modify the height of the cabinet. And also thanks to IronCat uh, snap features I can uh, edit the other two dimensions as well. This uh, Iron Cat's uh, function is really smart. It gives you a lot of power and you make it very, very easily. 
now I need to integrate my L profile on my uh, cabinets. Uh, uh, I just drag and drop my L profile. I just designed this by myself with IronCAD. And of course, using the tribal, I'm going to orient it properly uh, to make it parallel to uh, my cabinet. And again, using that snap feature of IronCAD, using the tribal, I can easily move it properly using the center point, for example, uh, feature, and this will be positioned automatically uh, in my uh, H-cylinder. Fine, that's it. Now I just need to uh, pull the handle of my L profile. I'm going to stretch it, and by pulling the handle here, you can realize that it's very, very uh, smart to do, and I'm going to uh, stretch it to the, later, the left letter of my cabinet. Hmm. The L profile, uh, the diameter doesn't match uh, my H cylinder. Well, no worry, uh, just take it easy. We just need to uh, uh, switch to add on properties, edit the cabinet manager, and edit the value of my parameter, the end zero. And now it perfectly uh, matches. This is a good reason why you, you, you need to create some parameters beforehand because later it can save you a lot of time. Now I'm ready to export my cabinet uh, for the production and I'm just calling, calling the function export to uh, QCAM. Okay, this is the lateral rendered in our WoodLab uh, CAM application. Um, this is uh, isometric. We can see that effectively we have uh, the routing and on the other side of the panel we also have all the drillings necessary, necessary for the fitting, grooving and the doubles. I hope you did appreciate this uh, video and I thank you for uh, your attention. If you are interested by our CATCAM system, do not hesitate to call me or send an email.